Hi guys, welcome to Roofing Eagle. This is Eagle. I have some good news to you guys today. Today I'm going to talk about how I'm getting my medication, how you can get your medication, and what you need to do to actually get your medication. I'm starting this day by saying chairs and everything with that. This is my medicated tea. So a half a liter of that with 20 grams of uh, honey in it. Should start my day with a good twist. Cheers. So yeah, we're so to get this, you actually need to get a couple of documents. It's quite easy. Uh, you walk into your normal doctor, like here in Norway or Sweden or yeah stuff like that, and you tell them that you want a list of your diagnosis. Uh, your diagnosis and the uh, kind of medication you've been using for the last two years. If you don't have that that far, it's fine. It's just... <laughs> okay. Other than that, uh, you need uh, to have a document from a doctor in Norway. Uh, this is uh, presented by the Nor Norway Norwegian High Court. I will put the link for that down in the description. Uh, this the document you need to get from a doctor is a document where it says um, patient X like so basically me Jürgen Eagle uh, is using uh, uh, cannabis oids or tetra cannabis oids uh, daily and is get his prescription from a foreign doctor if you have that then you can bring a month of medication prescribed from your doctor so, yeah, that's better than a week, isn't it? Yeah. You do that, you bring it home. Uh, when you come through customs, you show them your papers. If you're over 6,000 Norwegian kroners, you need to pay tax. Remember, if you don't pay tax, they can take everything. Okay, so when you have these two documents, your doctor's note and your diagnosis list and medications, okay? You need to find a Dutch doctor or a doctor in another country where medical cannabis is prescribed. That means not Spain, okay? Or another narcotic if you want to look for that. You go to that country, you find a doctor that want to prescribe you medical cannabis for your illness and when you have done that uh, you get a prescription from him that you need to go to the pharmacy the day after or the same day depends on their policy okay when you're at the pharmacy they will take your original prescription and switch it out with uh, a copy of it that's fine okay because if the police is complaining or something the original uh, prescription is down at the pharmacy so you can't lose it so you always have control over where it is and you can always get chipped up by fax or email a copy okay you pay for your medication and here here it comes the cool part okay because when you come to norway you go to customs i would recommend you to go on red because you're allowed to bring this medication there is nothing to be afraid of so as long as you have the papers i'm talking about uh, you can contact me and I can help you if there's any questions or you need any help. Uh, when you have these papers and you go through customs, if you're under 6,000, you won't pay a dime in customs. Okay, but if you're over 6,000, they will like pick out what's going over 6,000. Like if there's. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's say this one and this one. I said this one is 4,500 and this one is 2,000, okay? These two are on the same, uh, same invoice, but on two different lines. So they're, they're like this. It says that this is 4,500 and this is 2,000. So what you do is you take this in for free. You pay 25% tax on this. So that's not that bad is it uh, that, that. so yeah guys to round up all you need is your two doctor's notes from your Norwegian doctor 
you need the prescription from a Dutch doctor or whatever, you need to pick it up at the pharmacy. This is really important. You need to have a pharmacy weed, not anything else, okay? It needs to be picked up at a pharmacy. You need to have a prescription from a doctor and need the third document for customs, okay? So the first document is for your Dutch doctor, the diagnosis and stuff. The three others are for you to keep and you to use at customs. If you don't have the second doctor note from your Norwegian doctor, you can only bring a week of medication into Norway. That's important. Yeah. If you have that document, you can bring more. Yes. In emergency cases, you can light a joint or you can light your weed. That's in emergencies only. That is, if your vaporizer is broken and you don't have any power and you have, don't have any other means of vaporizing. There's always another means and if the police find out that you're smoking it, they can actually prosecute you for wrongly you like, uh, what's it called in English? They can not prosecute you for um, misuse of your medication. So that's not good. Uh, heating up my vaporizer. Uh, right now, even though I have my tea, I'm uh, gonna start with a, with a couple of pulls from my vaporizer. This is because I actually have started to get a new type of migraine, so I'm gonna talk to my doctor about when I get down in a couple of weeks. Uh, if there is any questions, comments, and stuff like that, just keep it up in the comments down below. Please follow, please, yeah comments same tell me what you guys want i don't know what you guys want so i don't know what to put in this is a requested video from a couple of guys so go for that and cheers Cheers guys, hope you have a great day, I hope I see you soon and if there is any questions, if you want to talk to me or anything, just give it up, I'm, I'm up for it.